Hi friends, how are you doing today? So today I'm going to talk about the tools that have been very essential to maintaining my 2A, 2C wavy hair and also some of the ones that did not work out for me. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, let's go ahead and just jump right into all of the hair tools that are very essential to maintaining this hair right here. Um, the very first thing that I did switch out when I switched or started transitioning into like wearing my hair more natural, if you will, was actually my hair ties. And I have two, two types of hair ties that I use. The very first ones are these like little plastic, I don't know, like rubber band kind of, just, they're not rubber band, they're more just like those little plastic twists. I'm not sure what they're called. And um, I wear these mainly at night to wear my hair up, which I'm going to talk about in another video. And then maybe sometimes if I'm like doing anything active like working out or just outside in the yard, I will wear these. And then just to wear my hair back throughout the day, if I have my hair styled and I just want to wear, just pull it back so that it's out of my face, I do switch over to these during the day. Sometimes I will wear them at night, but mainly these are used throughout the day. And I started switching over just because regular hair ties do pull on your hair. They're very just rough on your hair, so these are a little bit more gentle. So if you have any type of like curl, these would be very beneficial to just taking care of your hair. You know, I guess kind of like maintaining it, just, you know, really have to be very cautious about how you handle your hair, especially if you have some type of curl to it. For the next essential tools are brushes. I definitely switched over to a lot more curly friendly hair brushes. Um, I have three in here. So let's talk about the wet brush first. I love my wet brushes. I've been using these prior to even transitioning into a curly girl method um, just because they are so much more gentle on your hair when detangling and um, I since I started using them I have not gone back to just any type of regular brush so I feel like you really really need to have some type of wet brush in your hair tool essentials little area. Um, I got this one at Five Below Yes, I'm at five below, but I've seen them at Walmart, Target, all over the place. So pick one up if you don't have one already. Also, I forgot to mention where I got these. I did receive these from my Boxy Charm subscription, but I've seen these all over the place. And then these I did pick up also at five below, and I think it was about the same time that I picked up this brush. And I do have more, so like I said, I just picked up, it was like a pack of four, and I just use them too pull my hair back and so yeah so then your wet brush definitely is great for detangling um I don't detangle before I get into the shower what I actually do is detangle in the shower and there's a lot of I guess controversy on this if is you should detangle in the shower or if you you shouldn't and speaking of another brush I, I need to go get another one um but let's, let me go over this really quick. So this I don't use all the time. I mainly use maybe this just because it's a little bit wider. Uh, I think prior to changing my shampoo, I did have a lot more of tangly hair. So I wouldn't untangle my hair in the shower. And instead I would wait to get out of the shower and then I would go in with my wet brush just because it was a lot more gentle. But occasionally I will use this brush in the shower. So this one stays in the shower for the most part. And I do um, sometimes untangle my hair in the shower. So by the time I get out, I can just go over it again with my wet brush and put in all of like my stylers and so forth. So the next brush, let me go grab it. Okay, so this next brush is actually just for your scalp. So this is just like a little scalp brush that I picked up at Walmart for $3. Um, I really do like it, but I, I don't really say that it's like my favorite type of scalp brush. This is the only one that I've used, but I'm probably going to try some other different ones just because I'm looking for maybe like a different 
type of like bristles this does get the job done and I mainly use it when I'm shampooing my hair it's very essential to helping maybe any like build up of any products that you have on your scalp but it's also a great massager and you always want to take care of your scalp no matter what type of hair you have whether you have curly hair or straight hair when you have a healthy scalp it turns into having very healthy hair so I absolutely love this and I just look forward to really using this on my wash days because lately I've been having dry scalp mainly in this like back part of my re like my uh lower part of my head um like the back part and then like where my neck meets it's for whatever reason it's really itchy so i've been experimenting with some like different products and i think i more or less have an idea of what it was or the way i was washing my hair which i will probably discuss in another video i'm still in that like experiment stage and once i have concluded that it was that that I'm thinking then I will come back and make another video and um you know fill you guys in on that so you can do the don'ts of what I was doing and then let's go into the Denman brush for styling I um bought the nine row one I did mention that in my last video and I took off some of the bristles here so now it is four row and I really like this to help not only because it doesn't really style my hair if you will it more or less just helps me to um, spread evenly the styling cream that I do put onto my hair um, and I do notice that it um, just helps like the curls a little bit more or just you know like the waves that I do help especially in the back part of my hair because the back part of my hair is a little bit more um, has a little bit more curl as opposed to like just the front top top of my hair so mainly this region here and here on the top of my hair is more of just straight more of like just a very little wave and then even the bottom of my hair is like that so the middle part of my hair is more of like that curl if you will or a little bit more wavier let's see if I can show you see how the difference is there so I like to use this to just help to help it. It does help uh, curl it a little bit more. So I definitely do this as my last step with um, my styling cream and even sometimes with my gel. And I did show you how to how I styled my hair in my previous video. So if you want to reference back to that, I'm going to leave it linked at the very end and in the description box as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the next things that are very essential to your hair. And this can be for any type of hair that you have, whether you have curly hair or just straight hair, or you just don't know what type of hair you have. This is very essential to your hair because a towel can be so harsh on your hair that you actually do want to switch over to some type of like microfiber towel. And so this is the one I use. I got this one from my BoxyCharm and um it just says daily concepts and i actually need a new one see it's like unsewn from here i think i have like a little tear here so i definitely need to go and pick up a couple more but i use this religiously i use this as soon as i get out of the shower i automatically put my hair up on on this one and then when i come back to styling i go into my t-shirt so I just have a couple of just like old t-shirts um, that I use. I didn't go out and buy anything. These were just t-shirts that I don't use. And um, when I'm styling my hair, I plop my hair up with this. As if you've seen my styling video, how I style my hair, um, then you will see that I did use a t-shirt to also take out any like excess water. And then I do plop it up with my hair. So. Uh, these are very essential to my hair routine and I would totally recommend switching over uh, to a microfiber towel if you haven't already. All right, so the next thing that I did switch up was my pillowcase. I went into something that was just a lot more, um, I guess, like satin or silk. I think this is more of a satin. And um, I did receive this one also from my BoxyChime, but I did purchase some on my own. And every time I switch out my sheets, I just also switch out my 
pillowcase. Definitely something a lot softer for your hair. Um, is is it would help out with a lot of like the frizz and just maintaining your style. So the next item is actually a spray bottle and this is very essential to, you know, maybe like refreshing up your curls. Um, for me, it's literally for refreshing up you know, my curls. I do have to refresh in my curls almost daily. Yeah, almost daily. Um, and again, that just goes back to the way I sleep and because my curls just don't stay in place regardless of what i've done they just don't stay so i do have to come in and refresh my hair daily so i will use a spray bottle to help me with that so the very next tool is actually a hair dryer and i did pick this one up at walmart it was under 50 dollars, and i i really like this because it does blow dry my hair a lot i have a lot of hair and so it takes time to blow dry my hair especially when i go to the hairdresser and she like does like this blow it on my hair oh my gosh it takes us forever sometimes i just tell her look, look let's just put a styling cream and i'm out the door when i'm in, on those rush days but she likes to style my hair so I, I i let her do her thing um but yeah so as i was saying a uh, hair dryer is very essential and it could just be preference um to anyone um for example i when i first started i didn't necessarily use a blow dryer i didn't like it um because i'm very cautious or just very mindful of how much heat i apply to my hair so i would just pop up my hair with the towel and then the rest of the way i would let it just air dry but i felt like that was just weighing my hair down so i do blow dry my hair the very first day that i wash my hair and then every day after that i just refresh him without blow drying my hair and that just seems to help my I guess keep my style if you will um, for a longer period of time for the next item that you want to have it's not necessarily like a tool but something that should be very essential to help keep help help keep your scalp healthy we talked about healthy scalp um, is actually a uh, scalp exfoliator of some kind this one is by heritage I do not like this one though the one that I really enjoy is the one from Not Your Mother's. This is just the gel, but it's the brand Not Your Mother's. And it's the scalp, um, I don't know if exfoliator or clarifying, something in that realm. Um, I just didn't have it to show you. I ran out, so I decided to give this one a try. Um, and I absolutely don't like this one. I Let me show you. So, um, it, first of all, the little bristles here are great for giving that your scalp like a great massage. I really want to get like another scalp brush with these type of bristles. However, the formula inside is more of like a, um, like a scrub, like a face scrub of some kind. And it looks like this, it's awful. I had a hard time taking this off of my hair, like rinsing it off of my hair. And since then I no longer wanted to try it again. I might have put on too much, but I feel like my scalp doesn't have a lot of buildup that it really needs something like a formula so heavy as this. So I really enjoyed the the one from Not Your Mother's. Not only that, it just has like this um, like cooling sensation. And since I do have like an itchy scalp, it felt great every single time I was going to wash it. But what I liked most about it is that I could use it as a part of like my shampoo because I would add it onto my scalp and then I would go in and scalp, um, scalp, uh, scrub my brush with my um, scalp, brush my scalp with my brush hair um, and, and then it would just lather and then I could just go in with like a second type of, uh, you know, wash because I usually shampoo my hair twice on my wash days and then I condition it one time. So definitely uh something that you want to have as a part of your you know that's very essential to you know like i said it's not really a tool it's more like a product but something that you might want to think about adding into maybe your routine okay so let's go ahead and just talk about what did not work out for me um it might work out for some other maybe curly girls out there but for me it just didn't work with my wavy hair the texture of my hair or anything like that and it is actually a little silk 
on it. Uh, this My husband likes to call it my chef's hat because it literally looks like a chef's hat. Uh, luckily, I didn't pay a lot of money for this. I paid maybe $5 for this, um, and I did pick this one up at Walmart. I wanted to give it a try. I was hoping that I would only have to style my hair the very first day, wear the bonnet at night, and then when I wake up the next day, I would just, my hair would look like it was the first day, but that was just not the case. My curls always came out flat when I would um, take off my little bonnet in the morning. And I just had to go and refresh my hair. So I've just come to the conclusion that my type of hair, I just have to style it or refresh it, style it, and then refresh it uh, for like three to four days until the next wash day. So that's how come I wear my hair up with one of these um, little hair ties. It's like a little pineapple type of ponytail at night. And then I just take it down in the morning and then I just refresh it or like in the areas that I need to refresh which is mainly just like the top section here and the rest of my hair is fine. Alright you guys so this pretty much concludes today's video and I quickly wanted to mention that a lot of the tools that I mentioned might not necessarily work for you and it might work for others. Um, it really is all just about experimenting. You have to keep in mind that all of our hair is different regardless if we have the same like curl type or even shape of hair or anything like that. Our hair is just gonna be very different at the end of the day. So you have to just experiment and find what works best for you. But I want to just share this with you so that you get an idea and maybe can start implementing or maybe just experimenting with some of the tools that I did mention. And um, don't get discouraged, you guys. I'm I'm still on this journey myself and still trying to find products that still work for me. Um, I find a lot of them that don't work for me. And, you know, even tools that do and do not work for me to this day. And it's I really think it's just the name of the game. So, with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!